all right all right all right welcome back to another video very quick video here a friend of mine was asking for my purest build while we were doing our natural cell runs this week so i was like okay i'm gonna make a video out of it don't forget to like and subscribe that video and he was like okay fine whatever you're saying man you should you should have just screenshotted this shit but okay you, this is gonna be a very quick video of the furious there are a lot of furious variations there's the dex furious there's the mk1 furious and then the normal furious but unfortunately for the incarnate adapter to be equipped it needs to be the single-handed furious so the dex furious and the furious prime cannot equip the incarnon mode for the furious so right now we're gonna be using the normal furious and i'm gonna be showing you guys the incarnon evolutions that i picked for this build it's very it's very basic it's it's the standard uh, furious incarnon evolutions that you'd pick if you know what you're doing the first evolution of course is the incarnate form it's always that the second one is the storm burst it increases your damage by 28 on hitting enemies affected by the electricity status i'm gonna explain why later why this is the one i picked also it also increases your multi-shot for two seconds if you hit the enemy with affected electricity status it stacks up to three times so that's 40 80 and then 120 percent multi-shot that's pretty good that's pretty good the other one was of course overshields but unfortunately i don't have overshields for the frame that i use this weapon on but this is also a very good uh evolution if you're playing a dante a rhino or even a styanox it really depends on the frame that you're picking on i'm uh, not picking on i'm using it on uh the next one is of course the evolution three there are three options here but the one i picked is extended volley in the it increases your magazine capacity for the basic furies by 25 ammo now i picked this because the normal furies actually has pretty bad magazine economy so this one helps a lot for you know charging up the incarnate form in bursts but if you really don't want to pick this the other ones are pretty good as well the other one is increasing your accuracy by 50% and the other one is on headshot 10% chance of instant reload. So it really is a preference here. I just picked the mag magazine capacity because that's the one I like. But if you're having accuracy problems, then practice grip might be the better one for you. I really don't know when is a good time to pick this executioner's portion, but... <laughs> each their own right i mean you never know evolution four is where it gets spicy there are three options here the first one is head cracker on headshot plus five percent fire rate for two seconds stop stacks up to 10 times so that's like up to 50 percent fire rate but only for two seconds though you need to remember that the next one is with critical chance below 40 percent it increases your critical damage very similar to the furious but different numbers and the last one is of course status chance the one thing i am building my furious on is viral and heat that's why i picked status chance here um i don't really know if, if it's possible to make a negative crit chance furious i've tried before but it hasn't really panned out that way and headshotting on the furious on incarnate mode is pretty easy but for only two seconds i really don't think it's worth it to trade off of for 28 percent crit uh, status chance it's just too big of a number to ignore so now that i've shown you the uh incarnate evolutions uh we're just gonna show you the build i just have one build here for the furious and it's very easy it's very basic it's their standard heat and viral build for your secondaries of course we have the arcane cascadia flare on heat status plus 12 percent damage for 10 seconds stacks up to 480 percent extra damage that's why you don't need serration anymore in this build because 
Gadia Flare alone gives more damage than Hornet Strike, and it gives even more damage by Hornet Strike by almost two times. Yeah, it's more than two times. So the first mod is of course Galvanize Diffusion. Almost every secondary has this one. Multi shot on kill, thirty percent for twenty seconds, and it stacks up to four times. That's three, six, nine, twelve. 120% multi shot plus the 110 multi shot uh that's basically just there that's equivalent to 250 or something that's that's pretty good um little torrent is fire rate and multi shot that's why we are not picking the fourth evolution fire rate mod i mean evolution trait because little torrent is more than enough for this build pistol pistol pestilence and frostbite for your viral you can change it for other things because we have high status already but i prefer higher status especially for higher levels of content um viral heat is pretty good in melting down high level enemies uh prime pistol gambit and prime target cracker of course it's your it's your basic uh crit chance crit damage mods you could pick the non-prime version if you really don't have it but if barrow katir ever comes back and they, he has this you should buy this asap these mods are very important especially for a new player because the amount of increase that the normal pistol gambit and the prime pistol gambit the difference is way higher than you're expecting it's way higher um anemic agility is a corrupted mod that you could farm for in the vaults um i believe it is priced around like 10 or 5 platinum it's pretty cheap uh it gives 90 percent fire rate for in exchange for 15 percent damage which is pretty worth it especially if you're considering the 480 percent extra damage that cascade of flare gives it's basically non-negligible i mean i'd rather have the fire rate now we have already we already have like 150 percent fire rate and primed heated charge i'm I, it's not even maxed out yet on my on my arsenal but it's gonna be good enough we also have little momentum here this one is just your basic um excellus mod you could really even not use this if you really want to i just have this because you know i want it to be a complete build uh okay i'm gonna show you the damage now uh we're using what are we using i usually use this this furious with my wisp because you know wisp and furious sounds pretty good i'm gonna show it to you on a greenier greenier battle group let's make it pause ai real quick so that i can show you and i could level up the i could charge up the incarnate form not how fast the incarnate form charges up here that fast how many bullets did that take that they took less than 10 bullets but you didn't even really saw that because it was like less than one second that's how fast the fire rate is so we're gonna turn on here without any buffs or anything oh we have we have a we have a pet uh, you know what it's just 120 percent. you know what no 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 so that we could get the 100 wait the bu it's not even equipped you know what yeah 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 it's not yeah it's not even equipped okay good let's see the damage here look at that it's gonna ramp up because of cascade of flare but look at that damage right there it's crazy it's like a mini ignis wraith that's even better we killed that whole group with only one incarnate charge now we're gonna be testing it on a corrupted battle group next remember these are still path enemies level 225 they're pretty tanky they're so tanky in fact that i don't believe then the usual ignis is gonna kill them this fast this one is look at that it's like a flamethrower now remember the range is not really that far so you're basically fighting them on melee range but if you're okay with that then it's gonna be even crazier with the roar and the wisp motes all these guys uh now they have electricity also remember they clear electricity damage and look at that 300k so we're seeing a lot of damage popping in 
and we don't even need to kill them fully i don't even need to like kill them in absolutely zero to 100 i could just let one bullet or just one pass through and they're gonna die from the slash damage right here so that let's charge it up right here and make one quick pass through ching and they're dying from the slash rocks slash rock splash rock this guy boom splash rock slash rock 114k slash rock and don't <laughs> splash rock didn't even proc he just died that's how quick it was okay i think that's gonna be the build right there it's gonna be a very quick video i'm sorry for not editing this um i'm still far away i'm just playing remotely but yeah I'm, we're gonna be back to our regular regularly scheduled edited videos very soon so don't forget to like and subscribe the video and to the friend that was asking me for my furious prime not furious prime furious build here it is if you don't fucking subscribe i'm gonna be fucking